The seventh mathematical habit of mind is look for and make use of structure. Across all levels of math classes, there are many ways this habit of mind can be practiced. But ultimately, the goal of this habit of mind is for students to recognize prevalent formats and act on what they see in their decision making as they solve a problem. Most importantly, teachers, as the facilitators of this development, need to give students the opportunity to see things for themselves, give them the chance to use their inductive reasoning skills, recognize patterns, and generalize. Students need opportunities to think about the reason behind why certain results occur. In the context of fractions, for example, one of the essential components of look for and make use of structure is that fractions are numbers and as such have a built-in structure that may be used when working with them. In addition to fractions, fifth grade students work with whole numbers and decimals and have investigated the structure of the base 10 number system. Students have worked with different representations of numbers and different strategies for computing whole numbers and decimals. The ability to recognize fractions as numbers enables students to use the foundation they've built for working with other types of numbers and apply this knowledge to working with fractions. One of these foundations is the knowledge and acceptance that fractions, too, may be represented by different models. A common introduction question might be, why are these fractions equivalent? To emphasize, look for and make use of structure, I ask two simple questions. What do you notice and what do you wonder? This shift in questioning makes such a big difference because it forces students, not teachers, to think and decide what to look for. The students were able to see that the models had the same area shaded. This intro activity is a review from a previous lesson, but the purpose is for students to engage prior knowledge so we can build on that in the upcoming lesson. Prompting students to recognize equivalent fractions in models will support the transition to using those models to add and subtract fractions. So we are taking where we looked for and made use of structure before and building on that as we move to new learning with fraction computation. As students work through this investigation, they are making sense of word problems and deciding which models to use to represent the mathematics required to answer the question. The students, through exploration, are looking for patterns for the structure of the models and using that structure to support their understanding of fraction equivalence and fraction addition and subtraction. With this habit of mind, students are making connections about how the structure or patterns in mathematics allows them to visualize and make use of mathematics. As teachers, we employ this habit of mind as we provide opportunities to select strategies to explore numbers, the number system and operations, to apply connections to geometry, measurement and data, or to model and solve problems. With the mathematical habit of mind seven, students have many opportunities to explore mathematics and make their own realizations by looking for and making use of structure.